Hello, Sagittarius viewers. I'm going to get right into it and see whatever the cards want to say. Most likely about love, but sometimes other things come out as well. So, whatever your spirit guides want to come through and say here for this energy group. As always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. You can just copy and paste it. Um, my donation links are below too. Any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really does add up. But um, yeah, let's get into it. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if it resonates. And please bear with my camera too. It takes a minute to, for it to adjust as I put the cards out. So just give it a second. We have the tower. That is the first card that came out. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, just, just bear with my camera. It'll adjust after I put everything out. I'm sorry about that. Page of Cups. Okay, this is interesting energy. You guys, what is going on with you guys? You guys got some, some shit going on here. The Tower, the Page of Cups, the Two of Swords, the King of Swords, the Ace of Cups, Three of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Devil, the Star, mm -hmm. this is interesting to me because it's so similar to the Leo reading that I did, so I guess a lot of you fire signs are probably just in that same energy right now, dealing with third party situations, because that's what's coming through strongly. Um, in the Leo reading, I was getting that the truth is coming out about someone. Someone's, the karmic's true colors are about to be revealed, is what I'm feeling. I was getting that, so in the Leo reading, I was getting that someone was basically being drained. They were, um, it's a weird, it's a weird energy between the two. Basically, basically what I got is there's this couple and one of them is kind of the more heroic type, someone that wants to be seen in the public eye, someone that wants, just cares a lot about what people think, what, what, what people think. They want to be respected. They want to be valued. It's fairly important to them. And they're easy to guilt trip because of that, because they have such a high level of honor and integrity. And this karmic is basically gaslighting in them and manipulating them because they see that energy. And so what I was getting in the Leo reading, because I'm getting very similar energy here. So maybe you have Leo and Sagittarius in your chart. That could be it as well. But it's just interesting that, you know, fire signs are kind of in that same energy right now. But basically, yeah, what I was getting is that person was easily manipulated by the karmic because of that energy, because they have such a higher level, level of honor and integrity um, it's like they're, they've are they just been kind of easy to gaslight because the karmic can manipulate them and say, you know, um, just kind of play help, pretend to be helpless, pretend to be a victim, be a little bit needier than, than need be. It's like he or she basically has, they have like anxiety is what I get. Like they have um, ment like a mental disorder, possibly anxiety could be like an, yeah, an undiagnosed mental disorder. And I feel like they put all the pressure and all the burdens on you or your person because they know that they'll deal with it. They know that because they have that high level of honor and integrity and because they want to do the right thing, they're easily gaslit. They're easy to manipulate. So, you know, they'll take on the pressure and the responsibility for them. They'll take on their anxieties and their fears for them. They'll pretty much baby them. And, you know, what I was getting in the Leo reading is that whoever that person is that has that high level of honor and integrity, the person that's been, you know, being manipulated probably for some time now, they're taking the blindfold off in the very near future. And they're going to come to this epiphany because I feel like that energy, this person, this karmic's been gaslighting them for a while. And I feel like they didn't see through it. Like they made excuses they, you know, said that it was just work was stressful or, you know, family life was stressful or this was stressful or that. And now they're finally going to recognize that that energy is coming from the karmic. 
So if this is your story, I would look at the Leo reading as well because I went more in depth into that whole energy exchange between the karmic and um, you or your person. So check that out. Um, but yeah, it feels like the blindfold is coming off. And I feel like this person's also starting to use their intuition. So they're noticing that their body feels really, in, really tense around the karmic. Like they're just noticing that they feel like uptight. They feel like they can't. Like they can't breathe around the karmic, like their back feels like, like their back hurts or like their back feels like really tense and tight around the karmic. Like they just feel, it's like a block. Like if you're, you know, tuning into your intuition, it's like a physical block that they can kind of sense now that they're, you know, opening their third eye up. But, um, but yeah, if this is your story, check out the Leo reading. Cause it seems like, like maybe that's in your birth chart or something. It seems like it's, it's a very similar story here, but, um, anyway, what I get is that there's a tower moment coming in. So tower is like, it's, it's chaos, it's drama, it's overnight change, it's explosive arguments just coming out of nowhere. And I feel like there's going to be like a break. This feels like a third party situation to me. It feels like the same story, honestly, that I got in my Leo video. And there's going to be like a breakup or some kind of chaos. And this person, someone's going to try to seduce someone else. Now, this could be you. Like, this could be you, that there's going to be some kind of chaos and this person's going to try to seduce you to get you to come back to them. This could also be what your person's dealing with. Like, maybe you're in a third-party situation and you're wondering what's going on with the person you're in love with. Like, are they are they doing well with the karmic? Are they going to leave the karmic? Are they going to stay with the karmic? You're just kind of in the dark. So if this is your story, it looks like there's, yeah, there's arguments, breakups, chaos, drama, miscommunication. You know, tower is like quick overnight change. So this is something kind of explosive here is what I'm picking up. To me, I'm getting, for me, I'm getting siren energy. Sometimes when I channel, I'm intuitively led to look at the characters on the cards and like what position they're facing and just the in overall energy. I notice that they're both mermaids. So this to me is like siren energy, but someone's in the king of swords energy. So they're not entertaining this. Their king of swords is a, is a man that, a man or woman could be a woman in that masculine king of swords energy, but whoever this is, whether this is you or your person, it's like someone's in that king of swords energy where they're, um, it's like they're, they're just, they're not letting this person in. They're not, something explosive is going to happen. Like, okay, with the tower, the tower could be news as well. This could be explosive news. So, and again, this could be you. This could be you. Take it as it resonates. Could be you, could be your person. So this could be you where you're, you know, you're about to have a tower with someone and they're going to try to come crawling back and seducing you and you're going to have to be strong and be logical and move forward. For others, I feel like this is, you know, if you're in a third party and you're trying to inquire about what's going on with your person, this is what's going on with them. There's about to be a tower. Now, this could be really explosive news. This could be like just drama. This could be finding out someone cheated, finding out about a betrayal. Um, an explosive argument, someone telling someone how they really feel like this could be a bad argument where it's like this karmic just doesn't hold back anymore. Like they say, like they they put this this king of swords down, like they say something intense here. They say some it, th there's just there's some chaos coming up in the near future. But what I'm getting, though, is that this is probably going to lead to some kind of ending or it's going to be something where. Even if there's not like an actual physical ending, something is going to be said or revealed here where there's just no going back. It's like, I feel like this, this seductress, this like siren energy here that I'm getting with the page of cups and two of swords. And again, I'm just, I'm looking at the characters. I channel different ways and sometimes I focus on the characters. This siren energy here that's getting in an argument with the king of swords. I feel like this siren is going to say something to the king of swords that's just that they can't take back, like they're either going to, they're going to reveal their true colors in some way. They're going to, um, there's going to be a really harsh truth that comes out. And this could be that they cheated. It could be that they've fallen out of love with the King of Swords. It could be, it's just them putting the King of Swords down somehow. It's some, like they might, they might just be really harsh and really cold with their words. I just see like someone, what I, what I get, what I pick up is someone, speaking without really thinking 
this siren is going to be caught in the heat of the moment and they're going to have an argument with this king of swords and they're going to say something that they're just they're not even going to think about it it's just going to come out and they're going to catch themselves and they're going to be like oh my god i didn't i didn't mean to reveal that or i didn't mean to um i didn't mean to say it like that i didn't mean to word it like that you know like maybe throwing something like throwing one of your secrets in your face or revealing one of your secrets to somebody like just just drama. There's going to be something that happens. So even if there's not a physical ending here, it really feels like it's going to be an ending in the sense that this 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 king of swords probably used to be a king of cups before this tower. This king this this person was probably more open to this person and it's going to be like the past past, uh, past the point of no return energy after this tower. This tower is going to change things for this couple this karmic um, siren and the, and the king of swords. Like there's just not going to be any going back. It's, it's one of those things where something is going to be revealed. That's just so upsetting, so harsh and only take it if it resonates. You know what I mean? Like it's either your energy group or it isn't like, you know, don't try to make it fit. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't try to force it, but it could just be drama. It's just like things just building up to that point where there's like no turning back. You know what I mean? Where it's just like the final straw where like maybe they've been arguing for a while and this is just kind of it. Um, but I really feel like for most of them, like 80, 90% of the people in this energy group, I feel like not all of you, but for a lot of you, I feel like there's going to be some kind of low blow here. The karmic is going to say something specific that's really going to stick in this king of swords head. Or something's going to be revealed or it's just there's some kind of energy here where it's just I feel like this person was a king of cups and he's becoming he or she is becoming a king of sword swords like they're not something's going to take place where they don't want to go back where they they don't see this person in the same light like the trust is going to be broken very quickly is basically what I'm getting here. But yeah, this person's going to take on us. The karmic is going to take on a siren energy and try to seduce them back. But I feel like they're moving towards a third party. I feel like the King of Swords is going to be logical when it comes to this siren. They're not going to be seduced. They're going to try, this karmic's going to try to seduce them, but the, the King of Swords is going to use this sword to cut the karmic out, and they're not going to be seduced. They're going to be logical. They're, they're, you know, head over heart, basically. They're going to be strong, even if it hurts them. And they're moving towards a third party. There could be still some, uh, like, this is like insomnia, like someone having a hard time sleeping. Um, this could be like anxiety, depression, just darkness, despair, just being stuck in your head. You know, devil energy. The devil is about old patterns, old cycles. And so there still might be some chaos and drama for this king of swords to get through. But with the star, it's like they're planting seeds towards a future with this third party. They don't want the drama with, um, with that siren anymore. They want to go towards a third party. Tell me, and like I said, this could be your person coming towards you. Or it could be, it could also be a message for you if this is your story. It's saying, you know what, let go of the, the siren so that you can plant the seeds and go, go forward towards, you know, someone else here. That's, you know, more laid back, more fun. Sorry, just bear with my phone for a minute. <laughs> okay. Tell me more about this energy. The Hanged Man, New Perspective. So you're either going through a psychic awakening or your person, if this is about your person, they're going through a psychic awakening. It's like something, it's kind of like they just went through a dark night of the soul and now they're they're having this psychic awakening. Because the Hanged Man is about letting go and it's about having a new perspective. It's like this person's opening, this King of Swords is opening their mind up like, they're a king of swords when it comes to this siren specifically. Like, they're seeing through them now. They're seeing their true colors, and so they're cutting them out. But I feel like they're a king of cups when it comes to you. You know, it's like they're only embodying the king of swords energy when it comes to this seductive siren. And with the hanged man, that's all about letting go. It's about new perspective. I also see it in this context. I see it as being about a psychic awakening. Like, their third eye is really opening with the moon here especially it's like they have this new perspective and they're they're moving forward they're using their intuition yeah and letting go of the karmic 
really the Leo reading was so similar. It's really interesting. Eight of Pentacles reversed. The Emperor. Yeah, I feel like this King of Swords. So I really go into it in my Leo reading because I think it's like a very I think it's the same story here, it feels like. But I feel like the King of Swords was um I feel like he or she was really studying the siren. Because Eight of Pentacles is about knowledge. It's about studying. So I feel like the King of Swords was like studying this karmic. Like like trying to really be mindful of um, their patterns. Like really trying to be empathetic. Trying to be patient with them. Trying to read them. Trying to study them. Trying to fully understand them. And I think when this tower moment comes in, the blindfold is coming off. And this King of Swords is going to be like, wait a minute. Like, you're not doing the same for me. You're not studying me. You're not trying to understand me. You're not trying to love me properly. Why is this so one-sided? Why am I trying so hard to understand you and read you and, you know, go in depth? It's like, I feel like, I feel like the karmic has like certain things about them. Like some of them have had abusive childhoods or like just like issues, like anxieties. And I feel like they don't want the world to know about them. Like they have like, they're, they're this whole other person behind closed doors I feel like this this um, King of Swords was really patient with them for a long time regarding all that, like regarding their issues. And I just feel like the King of Swords is going to wake up and be like, wait a minute, like you're not even taking responsibility for your issues. You don't like you don't want to fix your issues. You want me to fix all your issues for you. You want me to take on all the burdens and all the anxieties for you. And there's also something telepathic here going on, too. Because, you know, we have red cords that connect us to people that we've loved and been close to. I feel like this King of Swords is going to recognize, like, as as the King of Swords opens up, like, because his, his mind is opening up, his, intu his, or her, his or her intuition is really opening up. And so I feel like they're going to recognize those red cords and they're going to be like, wait a minute, like, my anxiety isn't coming from me. My depression isn't coming from me. My my anger issues, all this, all this chaos and drama, it's not coming from me. It's coming from this karmic siren. Like it's coming from this toxic energy. They're going to be like, wait a minute, I've been taking on all your burdens, all your responsibilities, all your bullshit for you. Like, and, and, you know, detaching from this karmic is going to kind of wake them up and make them realize that like, wait a minute, that wasn't even my energy. It's like, this person is so like such a psychic vampire and so codependent and so needy that this king of swords has almost confused his energy with hers and and don't get caught up on gender even if i say him and her it could be male and male it could be female and female it could be male and female just you know just take it as it resonates you know what there's no gender here but just to make it easy i usually say him and her just to you know but um but yeah it's like he's <coughs> sorry it's like he's he's recognize he's gonna he's the blindfold's gonna come off and he's intuitively he's gonna recognize what's happening on like an astral telepathic level, like what's happening spiritually here. That this energy vampire has been draining him. And it's like they've been so like enmeshed in each other that it, it's almost like people are getting his energy confused with hers and vice versa. Where it's almost like, it's like he has all these issues, like these anxieties and this anger. And he feels like it's coming from him. Like he feels like it's because of work or it's because of, of school or whatever else he's going through. And it's actually him channeling her, him picking up her energy through these red cords. And she gives him that energy because she doesn't want the burden. She's happy to let him have the burden. She's happy to let him take on all her anger, all her anxiety, all her negative issues for her. Because, and I go into that in the Leo video too, where it's like, she knows that he's like the heroic type. She knows that he's like the honorable type and that he'll take on all this weight and all these burdens for her. So she doesn't have to deal with her, her, her burdens herself. She doesn't have to deal with the responsibility and the pressure. She can just act like a little baby and give all the, all these burdens to him. And he hasn't even realized that that's been going on. Like he hasn't even recognized that the energy at play here. And, um, yeah, it's like there's some weird things going on astrally, telepathically with this couple. There's some really, like, the energies are really kind of intense and crazy. And I feel like as his third eye opens, he's going to recognize that. He's going to be like, wait a minute, like, 
like, wait, I'm not like this when I'm not with you. Like, I am not like, like, like he's going to kind of start wrecking, he or she is going to start recognizing that. Like the red cords, like how, and also tuning into their body, like how their body feels around this karmic siren, like how their body feels tense. They feel on edge. It's like something feels off. But anyway, with this energy here, yeah, Emperor is very similar to the King of Swords too. These are, this is a man that's like not doing it anymore. This is like logic, like head over heart. Eight of Pentacles is about studying knowledge. So reversed, it's like he's not studying her anymore. He's not trying to figure her out anymore. He's not trying to communicate this. It's like all, like in the past, he was the, when he was the King of Cups, he was like, oh, if I only communicate this way or if I only do this or if I only do that, maybe she'll change. Maybe she'll um, understand anymore. Maybe this will happen. Maybe that will happen. And now it's like he's looking at the situation and... It's like he's not trying to understand her and study her anymore because he's going to have this major epiphany. I feel like he's either already had it or he's about to have this major, he or she is about to have this major epiphany where he's like, oh, wait, like this person's just been gaslighting me. I'm not misunderstanding this person. There's not something that I'm missing. There's not some way that I could communicate that would work. This person's been, this siren has been manipulating me and gaslighting me. There's nothing that I can do to make them understand me. There's nothing I can do to make them appreciate me. There's nothing I can do to make them stop their bullshit. You know what I mean? Like he's going to stop studying this per Once this tower comes in, he's not going to study this, this siren anymore. He's, he's going to be like, no, I understand. I've seen all I need to see. I, I understand now. Like I don't, you know, cause he kept, he kept being so hard on himself. This is someone that, you know, they have a lot of honor and integrity. So it's like this person's like a knight type, you know? And I feel like, sorry, I feel like they, in the past, they were so hard on themselves. They're like, well, maybe I need to be more patient. Maybe I need to be, you know, maybe I need to do this. Maybe I need to do that. And they're going to realize that, you know, this toxic karmic was just deflecting. They were just trying to take the focus off themselves by telling the King of Swords, like, oh, if you only did this, I would be happy. And then, you know, this this uh, King of Swords does does what she asks. And then she says, oh, well, if you only did this, I'd be happy. If you only did that, you know, it's just like one thing after another. And then he does all this work. He puts in all this effort and she's still not happy. She still finds something to nitpick. She still finds something like like control issues, like something to be upset about. And um, and it takes the attention off herself and off off her bullshit, you know, by making it about what he what he's doing wrong, all about what he's doing wrong, and and yeah, he's he's coming, he's gonna have this epiphany where he's gonna recognize that, and he's gonna be like, I don't need to study you anymore, I you know, I thought that I just didn't fully understand you, and that I just was just doing something wrong, and that if I just did things differently, maybe things would be different. But he's gonna come to this conclusion, like, wait a minute, like, no, I understand, like, I've been, you've been manipulating me, you've been gaslighting me, you've been deflecting and trying to, you know put all your burdens on me and trying to put all the responsibility on me and trying to basically, it's like she's giving him, okay, so this, this is like psychic vampire energy. She's giving him her anxieties telepathically and astrally. Does that make sense? Like, I almost feel like she actually has like some kind of mental disorder and they're so enmeshed in each other that he doesn't realize that, she, that he's been channeling and transmuting her energy for her. And it's almost like she's like, like through the red cords, it's like she's been like giving her mental illnesses to him or like giving her like anxieties and depression to him so she doesn't have to feel it as deeply. Does that make sense? Like it's just such a strange energy because it's like he thinks it's his mental issues and it's mostly hers. If he cut the red cords and he freed himself, he actually wouldn't, he would start healing from this. And he'd be like, holy, it's almost like he like lost himself and he'd be like, oh, holy shit, that's not even like my energy. Like, really? Like that, that anxiety, those anxiety attacks weren't mine. Like that depression wasn't mine. That anger wasn't mine. Like that was coming from her. Like he would feel like pain, but a sense of freedom if he cut the cords. But yeah, he's, he's in emperor mode. He's, he's being strong and logical. He's not studying her anymore. Whatever this tower that was that came in, it, it was a deal breaker. Yeah, Hierophant, that's, that's another strong man. Traditions, learning, um, also just control. He's controlling his emotions. Three of Pentacles, three of Wands, Eight of Cups. 
Yeah, she's going to try to come back with like, oh, like, let's build together. Let's do this. Let's do that. Six, you know, six of swords. Um, Let's start a new life. He's not going to have it, though. He or she's not going to have it. There's going to be... He's going to act like he doesn't see her. He's going to be over that. What's going on with the third party? Because some of you are probably like, yeah, bitch, I know what's going on with the karmic. What's, what does he feel about me, though? I don't give a shit. Like, what's, what does he feel about me? Okay, so we know enough about the karmic right now. What's going on? With, so, so the third party that he's going to be choosing because he's finally, he or she is finally letting this toxic karmic go. What's going on with the person that they're going towards? Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles... Six of Cups reverse, Seven of Pentacles. They know it's going to take hard work to be with this Queen of Wands. Like, they know it's not going to be easy. Um, but they want it. It looks like they want to do the work. I feel like they see you as, like, enchanting, beautiful, just unique. You could be a fire sign. You could have, like, this, like, fiery, passionate energy. You know, the Queen of Wands is the most beautiful woman in the deck. Or one of them, I'd say like the high priestess and empress are up there too. But I mean, she's, you know, she's powerful. She's charismatic. She's, you know, could be a magician or just someone that can just easily manifest what they want without even doing magic. The wheel, the chariot. Yeah, it looks like they're coming, like they're coming forward. They're wrapping up the cycle. It feels like they're coming forward like... Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. Oh, sorry. I just realized you guys can't even see that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles is, is, is one of the slower moving knights. But the good thing about the Knight of Pentacles is the Knight of Pentacles is stable and loyal and grounded. You know, they don't just come in and out. It's not like a hit it and quit it energy. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who really thinks things out. You know, someone, and especially with what they just went through with the karmic, they're going to be a little bit jaded for a while. They're going to be a little bit logical and a little bit, like, shocked because some of them are going to receive a shock. Not all of them, but a lot of them, I'd say 80 to 90 percent, are going to receive a shock. And, you know, it's going to make them a little bit jaded, a little bit guarded here. But it's like they are coming forward towards, you know, the person they want to be with. But it's like they're coming forward slowly, but it's it's loyal and it's stable when they do come forward. So it's like there's a slow buildup, but it's something that they've actually thought out. It's not just like an impulsive decision. Yes, yeah, Sun is the most positive card in the deck. They're going to have to do some healing first, though. Yeah, the healing from a heartbreak. Because it's going to be shocking. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, the heartbreak that this Queen of Swords caused. Because even if they were, like, falling out of love with this siren, it's like, they, a betrayal is still upsetting. Even if you're falling out of love with the person, like, it's it's still upsetting to find out something you didn't want to know or to, to have someone that you cared about, you know, throw something in your face or, or spread a secret that you didn't want shared or something. Like, it's still painful even if you're moving on from the person. So they're going to have to do some healing. It's going to require quite a bit of patience on your end. Once they heal from this, though, I feel like, yeah, they're going to be coming forward quickly. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. Both those cards talk about, like, fast movement. This is fire, passion, just all romance. All of it's here. Eight of Wands is about it. travel. could be at a distance for some of you. You guys might live in different cities or states. Um, Eight of Wands is also, it's just, it's fast movement. Yeah, they're just going to have to take some time alone first to really um, process, like, what happened to them. Yeah, it's a bit of a struggle. But they're going to, they are wanting, they're wanting that new start with you is what it feels like to me. But, and they want that balance. I think that they're making that judgment call that, like, Ace of Swords and Knight of Cups. They're making that judgment call that, like, they want this clarity and communication. They want to go forward with you. And they want this balance. They want a relationship that's, like, mutual give and take. You know what I mean? Like, they don't want to play hard to get, and they don't want to deal with you playing hard to get either. I feel like they've just been through too much for that. Like, they don't want to deal with any... They, they need, like, a gentle energy from you is what I'm getting here. 
you know, they're making a judgment call and they're deciding what they want in a relationship, what they will and will not tolerate. You know, this karmic relationship was a very important learning lesson from them. And then the fool is a new start. So it's, I mean, it's a good energy here. It is going to require patience, though. They are going to be jaded. They are going to be a little bit, um, what was I going to say? There's like a constellation that's coming to me. The Wounded Warrior. I don't know why I'm forgetting what his name is. Chiron? Is that it? I don't know. I don't know if that's specific. Maybe someone has that in their chart. But um, but yeah, it looks like they're coming forward. Like they are going to be loyal and stable, but it is going to take them some time. I mean, I feel like they're going to be communicating with you. Like it's going to be open, but you're going to sense that they're like a little jaded. Like they're a little bit um, like just... They want to make sure that they do things right. They want to take their time, and they're going to need to do a lot of healing, too. But, but yeah, it does look really positive here. So, And I feel like once they do the healing, like, they might move forward quickly. It's, it's more like... I just feel like this tower moment is going to be shocking for a lot of them, and so they're going to kind of need to process this. I feel like there's going to be, like, a loss of innocence and trust just in the world because... Part of them is going to be like, wow, how did I not see that? Like, how, like, where did that come from? Like, it's just going to be something that kind of could be like a little bit traumatizing for them, just upsetting that they're going to need to process. But when they do come forward to you, it looks like it's like a mutually beneficial relationship. Like, it's stable. It's solid, even if it's not super fast. But it does look like they are moving fast once they get to that point where they feel like they've healed enough, like they're going to come charging in. Um, so that's what I'm getting here. And as always, if you want a private reading, just email me. Um... My donation link is below, my, um, my email and all my information is below in the description box. And please like and please share too and subscribe. You know, maybe someone on your social media needs to hear this. So thank you guys for watching.